Hello everyone, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching. This video is long overdue. I have a big bag. Look, it's a Disney bag, y'all. It makes me happy. A big bag of empties. These are some of my favorite videos to film. You guys know I save all my food trash to show you food empties. This is everything else. So this is kid stuff, beauty stuff, <laughs> um, uh, cleaning stuff, anything that's not food that we empty out, I put in, the, in a drawer. And then when it gets full, I'm supposed to do an empty video. However, the drawer got full <laughs> and uh, more stuff got full and I just have not had time to sit down and do this empty video. So. Why do you want to know what's in my trash? This is why I like watching empty videos. You can get a very good perspective and opinion of what products people like and what products are good and may work for you by watching what's in someone else's trash. You get a very honest opinion because they've used up a whole bottle or bag or whatever of it. And um, some of these things and some of the products that I love, I found out about from watching empty videos. So I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to just get started because we have a huge bag here. I have a couple things that wouldn't even fit in a bag. The first thing, I showed this in a grocery haul. This is the Clorox Toilet Wand and this is the Caddy. It comes with the Caddy, the wand, and a bunch of refills. And I got this at Kroger. I don't know they have it ever, everywhere, pretty much. But this this is like $10. Why I wanted this. And it, there was a lot of comments about it. Kind of controversial purchase, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, yes, I know that the toilet brush that you put like in a little, just like, you know, a little holder is cheaper. Um, these, you know, you have to buy the refills and they're kind of expensive, but our, we have the tiniest little bathrooms and um, there's nowhere to put that little caddy thing where it doesn't get knocked over a million times with kids going to the bathroom. Um, so then I like clear it out a spot underneath the sink to put the little holder with a toilet brush and it... Um, again, was always getting knocked over. And I just, it just felt like it wasn't sanitary to have this toilet brush. Yes, I like washed it out and dried it and everything to where it didn't get mildewy and stuff, but it just still didn't feel sanitary to me to have that touching everything and the kids would constantly knock it over. Anyway, this is what's been working for us. So I bought one of these. I can use one of the little pads for both of my toilets. Um, so this comes with six pads and it's been several weeks since I bought it so I've only used two or three of them I clean it like once a week they work so good you don't have to touch anything you like stick your little wand and pick up a little pad I can do two toilets with it and then you just throw it away there's no gross germs I love these and I will be buying them I know they're not cheap or whatever but they're good all right the other thing is this all Free and clear. This is what the dermatologist recommended. Actually, either this or the Tide Free and Clear for Nate. He has a very um, he has very sensitive skin, but he also has a skin condition that makes his skin um, break out really easily. So she switched us to all Free and Clear or Tide Free and Clear, and this one's a lot cheaper than the Tide. So it's what I buy. I've been buying the huge containers of it, and I love them. It comes with a little uh, dispenser, and I told you guys I don't have it with me. I think I still in the laundry room but I told you guys my mother-in-law shared the best tip with these so if you didn't hear me say that the little cup that comes on you could also do it with the kind that screws on the the little smaller bottles but the little cap that comes on um if you just dump in the detergent that cap gets all gross and like caked on with detergent even if you rinse it out you can't get every bit so what you do is you take that little cup you put your detergent in it and you throw the whole thing in the washer um, and it what it you know all the detergent comes out and then your cup at the end of the cycle is perfectly clean and ready for next time I know that's such a simple tip but it has helped me so much <laughs> and a lot of you said that you really like doing it too it doesn't hurt anything you just put that cap full of stuff through your cycle and it comes out perfectly clean it doesn't get all gunked up and it's just awesome so I went through another one of these I've already purchased another one we love the all free and clear it doesn't break anyone out or anything it doesn't have a smell it just doesn't like I miss kind of the smell on the clothes like the fresh smell but his skin has done really good with it so we went through another q-tips we are q-tip people I only show this to you to tell you that we used to buy the cheap ones like the you know the ones that are less priced in this like the store brand or whatever but these are so much better because they don't like break apart we do clean out our ears with them I know you're not supposed to do that but I get water in my ears and it just really helps me to clean them out so um 
the Q-Tip brand is worth the extra money. So this is my favorite toilet cleaner. This is what I went through before I bought this. This is the best toilet cleaner. We have, um, we have a lot of like, I guess they're rust stains. This gets out any kind of stain and it smells good. It smells like peppermint or something. But this stuff is the best. The Lysol Lime and Rust Toilet Bowl Cleaner. It's the black label. I love that stuff. Okay, I haven't been to Aldi lately, so I've been having to pick up dish tabs. Uh, it's just been because I've been shopping late at night and Aldi is closed. It's not because I don't love Aldi, because I do. And you guys know I love their dish tabs. But I've been having to try a few different brands. These are the Great Value New and Improved. And I used to use Great Value, and I didn't really like them that much. But maybe it is because they're new and improved. I liked these. I thought they were, did a really good job. Very comparable to the Aldi ones. Um, it had no problems whatsoever. So they're still a little bit more expensive than Aldi. Not much. But I liked these. So this is the... I don't even know if there's a scent. It's just the automatic dishwasher packs. Oh, fresh scents right there in my face. Yeah, those were good. Okay. I love parchment paper and I have like rolls of it. I even buy it at the Dollar Tree. I love parchment paper for baking, for heating up anything. It just easy cleanup. Um, and I found these sheets at Kroger and I priced out, um, the Dollar Tree sheets, because they have sheets too, they don't come in a pop-up container. They come in a like a little plastic package. Um, but I like the sheets. And these actually were cheaper than the Dollar Tree because they came with 40. And you would have to buy like four, three or four of the Dollar Tree ones to equal out 40 sheets. And um, I just love these. They were so handy. I didn't have to like you know, unroll too much and then rip it off. I don't know. I just really love the, the parchment paper pop-ups and uh, the Kroger brand was awesome and I'll definitely repurchase those. I went through a little mini um, lip gloss. This is the Mary Kay lip gloss. I got a sample of it um, in like a gift set and this is my favorite uh, color. It's called Fancy Nancy. It's like a corally color, but it's kind of glittery. I wonder if I have any left. It just... I really like the Mary Kay lip gloss and this is my favorite fancy Nancy I use that up yeah I didn't get any on my lips it's completely gone okay it's summertime so I'm back to using this every single day this if you have gra uh, cracked feet at all this will change your feet it is the O'Keeffe's for healthy feet foot cream it also comes in like a tube but I like this little um tub you can see I got every little bit out of it you only use a little bit and then you put socks on and it will help your feet so much if you have crack feet dry feet um, this stuff is the bomb I also use their hand cream in the winter especially and it really helps too but I'm still going through that but I go through these like all the time and I have already repurchased that band-aids my kids love band-aids I don't even know why this is in here but we went through a Paw Patrol band-aid I I don't know they they like band-aids better when they have a character on them um we went through more wipes I just saved one but this is the Kroger wipes are some of my favorite and I've priced them out and most of the time they're cheaper than the Aldi ones um because I can get them on sale so these are the fragrance free wipes they compare to Huggies which are my favorite baby wipes they also have a brand that can uh, the Kroger brand that also compares to Pampers if you like Pampers I, I'm not a fan of Pampers wipes I also tried these um, paper towels from Cro no Aldi. These are like the cheap 50 cent paper towels. Yeah, they were not good. <laughs> if you need just basic, basic paper towels for just an emergency, they were okay. We used them, but they were not good. They, I will not repurchase them. I got this at the Dollar Tree. This David had um, some work done on his teeth, and he has a couple of spots that are just really sensitive sometimes and so I bought this for him at the Dollar Tree it's a Colgate sensitive you guys this is a small tube but the Sensodyne at Walmart is so expensive it's like five or six dollars at my Walmart you get a better like a bigger tube but not that much bigger um and he really said that this helped him so he finished this off and I guess I need to buy some more he doesn't have trouble all the time just occasionally with sensitive teeth so we went through a I feel like I showed you this last time, but I guess I didn't because maybe we had two of them. This is the uh, foaming hand soap from Bath and Body Works in Peach Bellini. And the notes are a delicious twist of juicy peach, white apricot, and fresh mango. I really liked this. I love Bath and Body Works uh, foaming hand soaps, um, but they are so expensive. I probably won't repurchase unless there's a crazy sale. 
Um, I might save that and refill it with something else, but probably not. Just, I already have a one from the Dollar Tree in there that's been fine. Um, okay, so I bought this and I told you guys I would review it for you. This is the Do uh, All Digging Dish Soap. It's kind of like compared to Dawn and it's called Radiance Teflon Grease. It is not as um, concentrated, I feel like, as Dawn. Dawn, you get tons of bubbles and um, I just love Dawn. I'm a Dawn fan. This was okay. It's definitely second to Dawn, but it cleaned really good. It left my dishes really clean. I just had to use a little bit extra as opposed to Dawn, but I would repurchase it again um, if I was at Aldi and, you know, the Dawn was way too much. Lucy went through another th one of these and I have not repurchased it yet. I keep forgetting, but she eats so much fruits and vegetables. It's not a necessity. These are the little critters, gummy bites, multivitamin. She loves these. These are like candy to her. Of course, I only give her like the recommended amount. It's when you're two or three, you get one. And then once you turn four, you can have two a day of these, but I don't know. I may repurchase them every now and then. I really would like them for Nate, but he won't eat gummy. So I went through another pack of the cotton rounds from the Dollar Tree. I actually really like the cotton rounds from a Dollar Tree. You save a ton of money. They're thinner um, than like the ones you get from Walmart, but they don't break apart as easily. I can, I use them with my micellar water to clean my face at night and I think they work great. They're only a dollar. They're, you get a hundred of them. It's a great deal. Okay. So we've been going through a lot of different kinds of toilet paper because you know, they're all, there's so many different kinds. I'm trying to find like the best quality for the cheapest amount of money. <laughs> so we tried these Kroger soft and strong toilet paper. I actually really, really like those. Um, I think it says comparable to Quilted Northern and I do say they are very comparable and they were a lot cheaper. So we would probably recommend, uh, oh wait, no, these were comparable to, see, I've, I'm messing up. This is what it is. I believe these are from Aldi. So this says comparable to Quilter Northern, but these are the Kroger brand. This is the Aldi brand comparable to Quilter Northern. They both were fine. I like them both fine. Aldi ones I think are a little bit cheaper. This is the soap the dermatologist recommend us bathe Nate with. It's hard to find. The only place I can find it besides online is at CVS, but it's called Vanna Cream. It is such a good gentle soap. Um, okay, I also went through one of these. I was at Kroger and I needed dish soap and I didn't want to go anywhere else that day. Uh, so I got these finished tabs. This is what I used to use all the time. And um, they work really good, but I honestly don't see that much difference between these and the ones at Aldi or those um, Walmart ones. They're they were a lot more expensive. Kroger did have a brand, but they only had a huge pack of them and I've never used them before, so I didn't want to try them out on a huge pack. So these are good. Um, we had some dishwasher problems when we moved into an apartment one time i think the dishwasher was just really old and it would leave like all kinds of uh, residue on our dishes and we tried so many different detergents and this is the only one that got out we didn't have issues so these are good if you have dishwasher problems but i feel like the off brand have gotten a lot better okay so i showed you nate's shampoo i no, i showed you nate's soap and i showed you his detergent and i showed you his um what else cream, but, or maybe I didn't show you his cream. Anyway, this is his shampoo. And I also use it occasionally as his body wash if we run out of the soap. This is the Aquaphor Baby Cleansing Wash and Shampoo, fragrance-free, tear-free, paraben-free. It's a really good soap and shampoo if you have sensitive skin. We go through a ton of these. They last a long time, but that's all I buy for him. Okay. This I got at the Dollar Tree. It is a Lysol Fresh and Clean. It makes five gallons, so it's very concentrated. And I use this to mop with. Um, I really, really like it. I just pour a little bit into a like sink full of water. And it makes everything smell really good. And it lasts a long time for a dollar. I definitely, I already think I have repurchased that. I got these at Kroger. These are the extra strength erasing pads that's comparable to the Mr. Clean. I really like these for especially washing my walls. Like if they get footprints, I don't know. Is this just a bomb thing or is this just happened at my house? But the kids get like footprints on the walls from leaning on it. Like they'll lean on the bed and put their feet up. These get, even off of flat paint, they get off um, like the um, baseboards and stuff when they get grimy. I like these. I don't use these for everything, but I have certain things that the eraser pads really work well for. Um, this I got at the Dollar Tree too. 
It is a Salon Selectives Damage Repair Argon Oil Hair Treatment. Um, so that you're supposed to use this for your hair and I have like every week or so. It's a good conditioning treatment for your hair. Um, but my favorite way to use this is as a shaving cream. Um, it does an amazing job as a shaving cream. It lasts a long time for a dollar. Your legs will be so smooth. This is my favorite for shaving cream. Uh, we had our pastures over about a month ago for dinner and some meetings and stuff that we needed to do with them. And um, I'm always worried that our house smells like a dog <laughs> because we have a dog or, or smells like kids and, you know, the stuff they, I don't know, milk they spill on the couch and stuff. So I always want to freshen it up. And I use this Febreze Fabric Downy. I really liked this. It smelled really good. It made our house smell really good. I like to save these and then put the Dollar Tree fabric refresher in here because the Dollar Tree um, bottle is terrible, but it's, hold on. Okay, we will eventually get through this video. Um, but the Dollar Tree Febreze bottle is terrible, but the actual product's good. So I save those Febreze bottles and put the Dollar Tree stuff in there. Um, but we really like the downy scent too. Uh, we just went through this toothpaste, the Crest Scope, Crest Complete Minty Fresh. I like these little bottles, especially from, for traveling. Uh, they don't get as squished as, as the tubes and stuff. I liked it. It's kind of expensive, but occasionally I'll get it. And then last but not least, Nate's Melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone that your body makes naturally to help make you feel sleepy. Uh, for people who have trouble sleeping, melatonin is a great supplement. Um, I actually like taking it myself. I, I have some pills. They're a little cheaper to buy in pill form for people who can swallow pills. They definitely make you feel sleepy. They're non-habit forming. They don't make you feel groggy at all, but they make you feel sleepy when it's bedtime. So Nate's been on melatonin for a while, and because he doesn't swallow pills, I use this natural natural liquid melatonin. Um, he takes a very small dose of it, but it works really well for him. So it's safe for kids and um, it's awesome. So that is it for this empty video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know if you have tried anything like any of this stuff or maybe something you think I would like, let me know down below in the comments. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you are new because I do post videos every single day on this channel and I will see you guys all later.